The 2024 presidential election is shaping up to be one of the most consequential in American history. Now that De President Joe Biden has ended his re-election bid, Democrats must choose a replacement nominee, and they don't have a whole lot of time. The election is just over 100 days away, and the Democratic National Convention is set to begin on August 19th in Chicago, just a couple of weeks from now. So far, no Democrat has challenged Vice President Kamala Harris for the party's nomination. She has already been endorsed by Biden and a handful of prominent Democrats, including Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer and California Governor Gavin Newsom, but it remains to be seen if anyone will ultimately challenge her. The next couple of days and weeks are going to be crucial for Democrats. Let me explain who picks the nominee and how that process works. The simple answer is that a few thousand Democratic delegates who represent voters will be deciding the party's nominee. Not Joe Biden and not the DNC leadership, but the delegates who were chosen to represent their state uh, or community at the presidential nominating convention. Delegates are usually early supporters of a candidate or party activists or political leaders. There's around 4,700 of them and more than 4,000 uh, delegates were pledged to Biden before he dropped out. Now those delegates are free to support whomever they want. And while no Democrat has yet challenged Kamala Harris as the nominee, it could get complicated for the delegates if there are other candidates in the mix. For now, it remains unclear when the delegates will vote on a new nominee. Uh, the DNC is expected to hold a virtual roll call sometime in early August where the delegates will cast their votes on a new nominee so that they can avoid an open convention. But the DNC hasn't yet officially confirmed that a virtual roll call will take place or even when. Now there's also an effort among some Republicans to complicate taking Biden off the ballot. House Speaker Mike Johnson said on July 21st, quote, every state has its own system and in some of these it's not possible to simply just switch out a candidate, end quote. That suggests that Republicans are looking to mount an effort to challenge whether replacing Biden on the ticket complies with state election laws, but it remains to be seen whether there's any merit to that argument. One of the biggest questions after Biden and others endorsed Kamala Harris was who would be her running mate in a race against Donald Trump and J.D. Vance. Harris could be inclined to turn to someone from a swing state that the party needs to win, like Arizona Senator Mark Kelly or Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. And while we don't know who she's thinking of, she's expected to pick a male running mate that gives the ticket some more balance. Uh, several names uh, have been thrown out already, including Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper, Colorado Governor Jared Polis, and Maryland Governor Wes Moore.